We are opening up the polls here in about a half hour from now. It is primary election day in Wisconsin. And one of the races we are, we are following very closely this morning is the race for Wisconsin State Supreme Court. NBC 15's Phoebe Murray is live for us from outside of the Capitol. Phoebe, a seat here could shift the balance of the state Supreme Court. Tim Aaron, what's typically regarded as an under the radar judicial election in Wisconsin has turned into a high stakes fight for control of the state Supreme Court. And this primary is just the first of two rounds that will determine who replaces the retiring conservative Justice Pat Rogensack. Now, the court typically is nonpartisan. But conservatives on the bench hold a four to three majority and four candidates are vying for that spot. Dan Kelly, Jennifer Darrow, Everett Mitchell and and Janet Krutasiewicz. Now I spoke with political analyst and UW Madison professor Michael Wagner, who says depending on this outcome, the ideological makeup of the court could change. At the top of the list, abortion, redistricting, and election laws are probably hanging in the balance in one direction or another, or at least their ability to have a hearing at the state Supreme Court are hanging in the balance. And today's election will narrow down those four candidates to the top two vote getters who will move on to the general election up in April. And once once they are elected, that term runs 10 years now. Our NBC team sat down with each of the four candidates with an in-depth one-on-one interview that you can watch on our website right now. Live in Madison, Phoebe Murray, NBC 15 News. All right, thank you, Phoebe.